So some more goodies from China arrived and uh, this one kind of made me laugh. I didn't quite realize what I ordered when I got it. I was looking for a air re rework station for some soldering that I'm doing and uh, didn't notice that it was a 3-in-1. So taking a look at it, 3-in-1 soldering station, hot air rework station and DC power supply to work together. A DC power supply? Huh. Well, I do need another one, so let's check it out. So I unpacked the box just to save you guys the boredom of uh, watching me pull stuff out of plastic and that, but uh, this is the kit's contents here. Um, so yeah, the uh, rework station controls here and DC power supply over here. It's a little bit unclear what's what on this side. I mean, it says soldering station here and soldering station down here. And yet this is SMD rework, this is SMD rework here. I'm assuming that these are the temperature sets for it, and then this is the fan control for the uh, hot air. Um, when I power it up, we'll uh, see how it actually behaves, but it, it, it's a little bit confusing, uh, the front panel. Um, thing that kind of still makes me laugh too is that, uh, you know, there's a swing arm uh, ammeter on it still. I'm not sure why you would bother with that. I guess they're cheap and still available. I'm kind of surprised by that, seeing as how they've all disappeared. I'm sure uh, seven-segment displays are significantly cheaper than swing arm meters these days. Um, the uh, different tips for the air tool here, uh, just to get different air flows and that, uh, came with the power cord and that, but this is the one that had me laughing the most, is the um, meter cables for a DC power supply. Huh. Well, I guess, sorry, there is an output and a test. Um, you know, I guess you can uh, use this as a as a meter as well. It does have a display output, and then there is a, a test voltage output. So, you know, maybe maybe it is both a DC supply and, uh, and a voltmeter uh, built into one. Um, then, I guess, is it a 3.5-in-1 or a 4-in-1? Um, anyways, uh, this is the kit that I got it super cheap like 169 bucks Canadian or something like that um, you know for I know you can get cheaper air tools by itself but to get um, all three three and a half of these functions combined in one box uh, that's pretty reasonable in my opinion um, let's hope I actually have better success than I did with the other DC uh, meter that I or the DC power supply that I bought that has a decimal place error that pops up uh, so you're never sure, sure if you're outputting 10 volts or 100 volts but uh, yeah, we'll uh, get this thing fired up and uh, see how it performs. Okay, so we got it powered up here and uh, yeah, it actually seems to work pretty good. I did a couple quick little checkouts on it and that, but uh, as I suspected, the uh, top control here is actually the uh, hot air rework and the uh, air speed for the air is down here. So a little strange that they put those separate from each other, but you can see pick up the uh, hot air and you can see the temperature ramping up pretty fast there and yeah it's hot um, so yeah you got speed control and control on temperature up to a blistering blistering 480 degrees which I'm sure will burn your PCB away but uh, good to have some extra heat there when you need it um, when you put it down, you can see it turns off right away, starts cooling pretty rapidly, but the fan keeps going to uh, cool the coils off, so yeah, that's the hot air, we'll have to see how it works, um, similar, there's the uh, soldering iron, you can see it ramps up uh, pretty quick as well, uh, again control over the actual temperature. I'm not going to let it get too hot right now until I get a chance to get some solder on the tip there. Um, and then the interesting part, the um, power supply. So, um, set the switch to display output and uh, turn it on and you can see the uh, voltage that's being output here. Um, the interesting thing is this thing actually is a voltmeter uh, that's separate and I mentioned before that it came with um, one of these uh, power leads here or the uh, probes um, there is good reason for that and uh, I'm just going to take those two off and uh, just 
don't mind me getting the cable straightened out. Plug those in there. And actually, you don't need to plug the ground one in uh, for this test, but uh, you can see you put it over to uh, test voltage. And now this actually becomes like a remote uh, probe. So you can actually compensate for drop on low gauge wire um, with this. If you're you know running a significant amount of current through it, you can um, probe uh, at the device instead of uh, at the power supply. So that's actually a handy little uh, feature. Um, you know, it has the analog ammeter in it as well. Um, just get rid of a couple of things here. And, uh, you know, overall it does seem to be working as expected. I quickly checked it out uh, with my meter and um, the power supply voltage wise is measuring um, pretty much bang on with it. Um, you know, obviously this only has one digit below the decimal point. My meter's got a, a couple more than that, but um, yeah, we'll just quickly quickly, quickly, quickly hook up the uh, I've got a 8 ohm power resistor here so didn't have this over but you can see full scale deflection on its one amp so 8 ohms will come up to 4 volts we should get uh, around about half an amp on the uh, on the meter looks right and again uh, up to 8 volts and it should come up to around an amp uh, it's a little bit out but uh, not too bad not too bad at all um, again, I, like I said, I have checked this out against my uh, one of my better multimeters, and uh, it seems to be good enough for my needs. Um, certainly, would not qualify this as a you know good uh, bench supply. Um, I'm sure it's a switching supply. I'm sure it's noisy. I'm sure it uh, probably uh, doesn't react quickly to or well to uh, change in in load. Um, and there's probably a significant amount of switching noise on it, but um, yeah, I, I, for what I need it for right now, it'll do just fine. And you know, I'll probably dig into it a little bit more with a scope and just kind of see what it's doing. But um, overall, for 170 bucks or whatever I paid for it, I think uh, it's gonna do a lot of work for me. And uh, you know, I'd love to get my hands on some old, um, you know, I don't know, HP or. Agilent, Keysight, whoever, something like that for at home, but uh, you know, brand new, they're obviously out of my price range, and, and even still, they fetch a pretty good dollar um, on the used market at times. So, you know, while I keep my eye out for some better equipment, this will uh, do just fine.